I am presenting a paper on recent findings of the megalithics from Manichal uh, River Basin, Kottayam, uh, district of Kerala. Let me start with uh, uh, the study area. Let me introduce the study area. Uh, river Manichal is located and uh, flow through the district of Kottayam of Kerala. The total length of the river is about uh, 78 kilometers. It has uh, several tributaries and uh, it is originated from the western slope of the western Ghat, and the river takes a westerly direction and finally merges into Vamadad Lake. Now when we consider uh, the Iron Age megalithic phase, this region is uh, very much proximity to the Idiki district from where large number of Iron Age megalithic sites were reported and some sites were excavated. And also uh, this region is located about uh, approximately 120 kilometers southeast of the early historic site at uh, Patanam. Now about the present work, an archaeological exploration was carried out with the permission of Archaeological Survey of in India in this region for the two field seasons, 2018-19 and 1920. Uh, the intention of the exploration uh, was to locate and to document Iron Age megalithic sites and uh, monuments, uh, and also to document other monuments of medieval and uh, late uh, medieval period. But uh, the theme of the ongoing seminar is uh, only on the Iron Age megalithic. Uh, therefore, I am not going to the details of the other findings of the exploration other than megalithic. Now, another aspect that I would like to highlight as the key reason to do the exploration is that uh, several megalithic monuments were destroyed or demolished um, in, you know, due to several reasons. One of the main reasons uh, is the plantation activities in this region. This region is one of the uh, you know, major uh, region uh, regions in Kerala where you get to see rubber plantation. Nowadays, especially for the last uh, 10 to 15 years, when uh, they do replanting the rubber uh, with the introduction of machines like JCB, they dig the land and they till the land and then they plant uh, uh, you know, new sapling. Recently, pineapple cultivation also started along with the uh, rubber plantation. For that purpose also, they dig the uh, land, dig the land. So the buried structures, including megalithics, urn burials were exposed. So when they get a megalithic uh, and burials or any structure, they do uh, you know, digging by themselves and looking for some valuable objects. So that's a situation. Uh, so several megalithics were destroyed and we lost them. And then the college where I am working, I, am, I appointed as assistant person in archaeology in this college in 2012. So this college is also located in this region. In fact, um, the, the BA program in history uh, with the archaeology and museology. In fact, there are five colleges in Kerala uh, provide you know, archaeology program uh, at the graduate level. Now, most of the students are from the catchment area of the river Minichil. So they are uh, always providing information about the, you know, you know, this, um, you know, megalithic uh, monuments and the structures. And uh, so, and also provide, we also provide field training uh, for the students um, uh, along with this exploration. Now, when we uh, look back to uh, the megalithic research in Kerala, uh, several megalithic sites were uh, reported from uh, this region as well. Now, let me uh, briefly explain to you the background of the previous research carried out uh, in this region. Uh, actually, four sites have been excavated uh, from this region. The first excavated site uh, was Oliani. Dr. Rajendran, who excavated the site in 2005, uh, Oliani is a site near Kunoni, uh, from where 
he uh, excavated two uh, cyst burials and uh, cyst burials had found adjacent to each other that's what it is the it is written in the excavation uh, report uh, the report published by him and he also found iron implements uh, dishes on uh, on dishes on stand uh, type of pottery now subsequently an <coughs> archaeological survey of india thrissur circle have conducted excavation at uh, mattathilpara injivav and kurumanna uh, the excavators termed them as knd1 2 and 3 it is located in karnad village and two cyst burials adjacent to each other were found at uh, knd1 that is mattathilpara the excavation at uh, uh, knd2 brought light to a dolmenoid cyst knd3 was the best preserved site according to the excavators dr uh, nambirajan and kumaran they published the uh, a, a report uh, on their excavation in 2011 the excavation was carried out in 2008 so you can see the cyst uh, um, at uh, KND one that is Mattathilpara, and then excavated site at uh, KND two that is Injugao, and uh, KND three Kuruman. Uh, <clears throat> as far as uh, the iron implements, the cultural materials of the excavation is concerned, eight iron implements were found from cyst one. They include iron, iron dagger, chisel, leaf shaped knives. All iron implements were found from cyst two, whereas uh, uh, about the iron implements they excavated, they have found from KND three, uh, which is not there in the in the report published uh, in 2011. Interestingly, a gold uh, leaf was also found from cyst two uh, during the course of excavation. Now, uh, uh, apart from uh, the excavation. There are several, uh, you know, sites where reported from this region. So uh, K. Chandra Shagara Menon of Southern Circle of Asia, who found a menhir at uh, Tirunakara, and four site four at uh, somebody's mic is on, I think. Um, uh, so it was in 1963. And he also located the Kern Circle on the Vedagiri Hills, dolmens at uh, Kanakari and Koralangyada, the Latrade Men here at uh, Tirunakkara, and four granite men here at Vedagiri near Adirambada are well, well well preserved according to uh, the report. Later, Pre Sridharan of State Department of Archaeology reported a discovery of granite men here at uh, Arpukkara. Uh, a men here was also reported at uh, Thottakkara. In fact. Uh, this site is not in the Manichal River Basin. It is located in the Chennai-Shiri Taluk um, uh, by Nayar, 1986. Now, during the course of excavation at Oliyani, uh, Dr. Rajendran uh, reported the evidence of two cyst burials at uh, Payani Thod and an urn burial at Kundoni. Uh, So these sites. Uh, now I visited the site again, and the the, the cyst, sorry, that the urn burials reported at the St. Joseph Upper Primary School, Kondoni, is no, no longer today. And the cyst burial at the Payani Thottam, uh, I I added uh, the details of that particular cyst in the presentation. So I'll be discussing about that later. And a cluster of five sites uh, such as Nerappu, Payas Mount. Matathilpara, Injugavu, Kurumanna, around Nilur were first reported in a dissertation work of the Department of Archaeology, University of Kerala, by Dr. Nikhil Das in 2007. And later, out of of these five sites, three sites were excavated by ASA in 2008. The project titled uh, "The Historical Atlas of Southern South, South India" located several new sites and prepared a digital atlas. Of archaeological sites of southern India, Uruthuvayar is a newly discovered urn burial, which is belong to this region. And four dolmens were reported at uh, Kurunye by Dr. Nikhil Das in 
and then later uh, four granite menhirs were reported from Muttam in Kottayam Taluk uh, as part of a dissertation work of the Department of Archaeology, University of Kerala, Abhayan and Rengini 2013. Now, so these are the major uh, previous work and major uh, research from this region as far as the megalithic monuments are concerned. Now, let me move to uh, the my findings, the recent findings. Uh, this is a rough map of the river Menichil. Uh, <clears throat> it has several tributaries. Uh, which has uh, um, several uh, tributaries and two major tribut tributaries um, joins at uh, Iratubeta and river flows towards the west. So these are the five megalithic sites recently located and documented as part of the exploration, uh, which are numbered as uh, one, number one, two, three, four, and five. These sites, number one, two, and three, uh, three sites are located uh, approximately about uh, 10 to 15 kilometer away from the river. Uh, whereas the site number four, uh, site number four uh, is quite close to the river, uh, which is located uh, less than one kilometer away from the river. And fifth site is located near the tributary, one of the tributaries of the river. In fact, this site was already reported, uh, the fifth one, fifth site was already reported by Dr. Rajinder when he was excavating uh, the cyst at uh, Oliani. But no details of this site was um, uh, available in, in, in his report. Uh, so I <clears throat> visited the site again and documented it, um, you know, which is also added to this presentation. Now, a dolmenoid cyst uh, was found at uh, site one. Uh, uh, two dolmens uh, were located uh, at uh, site one. Uh, number two and then uh, site number three and four provide um, evidence of uh, urn burials and uh, and a cyst burial uh, at uh, site number uh, five so i will be going to the details of uh, each site now the first site uh, that is <clears throat> uh, located at uh, Kaligawa, uh, just behind the uh, temple at uh, Kaligawa. And then uh, it is very close, uh, one kilometer away from the AMC road. Uh, this site is largely disturbed and uh, located in a, in a rubber plantation. You can see the uh, view of uh, the Dolmenoid cyst and uh, the interior view. Now it is uh, east to west oriented with the, uh, the opening at the west and contained three granite orthostats. Uh, I'm not going to the details, the, the, the measurements of each uh, uh, orthostat, which is uh, not needed, I think. Now, local people mentioned uh, that some 15 years before they have. Uh, removed the soil inside the um, this particular uh, dolmenoid cyst and found uh, some poor trees with the uh, rice husk in it. Uh, now, the most uh, one of the interesting uh, feature of uh, this dolmen or dolmenoid cyst. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult to you know identify. You can call it as a dolmen or dolmenoid cyst because when you approach the monument from one side. Uh, it is about one meter above the surface, but on the other side, uh, especially when it, from this side, it is is about less than one meter. So it's very, very difficult to make it out. Uh, now, one of the uh, interesting feature of this uh, structure is that it has a huge uh, table stone. The the larger table stone uh, measure approximately. Uh, 3.8 by 2.8 meter, uh, and uh, it is slanting from east to uh, west. Uh, and uh, another feature is that it, it has several 
uh, cup marks or cupules, um, you know, the hemispherical depressions. So there are multiple, uh, uh, you know, uh, cup marks. Um, I have noticed about uh, 12, but I'm not sure, but I'm sure about there are more than eight uh, cup marks on uh, this um, capstone. So this is a, for a recent photograph uh, where you can see the close view of the cup marks. No drawings of these cup marks are uh, available right now. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm working um, on it. Now, yeah, you can see the, uh, the close view of the cup marks. Now, moving to next site, uh, Maringa Tuvali. Uh, site number two. Um, it is uh, it's uh, you know it is located in a private property uh, just behind the Shiva temple Maringa Tivoli. Two dolmens are found here. They are found uh, very close to uh, to a house which is constructed recently. So the owner of this land was not allowing me to document these monuments so, uh, about for for more than two years. So finally I could do it uh, last year. So he told me that there was about 10 to 15 dolmens there, but most of them were, you know, in a loss on uh, only one. This one is, you know, a, it looks intact. Uh, out of the two dolmens, the first dolmen, uh, you know, uh, it has four orthostat on the south and, uh, uh, and north and um, the eastern orthostat is partially broken and uh, stand outwards. Uh, and um, uh, there is a brick wall. You can see a, a recently constructed wall around this uh, structure uh, made by the owner of the house. Uh, this is how he is protecting uh, this monument. He, he, he uh, not, never allowed anybody to take picture of this particular uh, structure. He fixed the CCTV camera. Uh, around his uh, house, so it's very difficult to deal with him. Uh, so I could take picture and within a, he allowed me to take picture and uh, take uh, basic measurements. And uh, the another interesting feature of this, um, you know, uh, dolmen is uh, a porthole is on the western orthostat with uh, the diameter of uh, 35 centimeter. Now. Uh, Another dolmen located uh, in the same location, uh, site number 2A, uh, another dolmen. Uh, in, in fact, it is you know, um, uh, not in, in that uh, situation or position. Only the uh, one of the orthostat is in a, uh, 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 found intact and the capstone is slightly uh, slanting. And, Probably one of the orthostat is uh, found a little away from that particular uh, dolmen. Now, moving to uh, third site, uh, urn burials were found inside the compound wall of the Sri Krishna temple in the Valichara village, Minichir. The site name is Kodakachara. Uh, so when they uh, dig the land, and uh, removed the soil as part of the uh, you know some kind of renovation uh, work in the temple um, reconstruction work in the temple. So they have found uh, uh, you know three arm burials. Uh, however, all, all 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 of them are completely uh, you know broken in nature. You can see this uh, particular uh, um, you know urn, and uh, this is a location of this particular uh, another urn. And this is a photograph taken by me after two weeks. So these are the fresh photographs uh, taken by our students. Now, uh, uh, you know, these ions are placed uh, about uh, one meter below the surface. And then fragments of some of the miniature ports and bowls were also found inside the, uh, inside the, this, um, you know, uh, urn, but which are missing today, or we I could not get those objects. Uh, now moving to uh, next uh, site, site number four, uh, that is Parapalli. 
uh, it is near Pala. As you see here in this map, it is very close to the river, approximately uh, 800 meters away from the river Menichil. So it is located uh, inside the campus of Government Lower Primary School, Parapalli. And then uh, when soil above the burials was you know, you know, removed recently to extend the playground for children. Uh, so during the summer rain, it was in 2019, uh, May, urn burials were exposed. So there are uh, there are uh, seven uh, urns found in an area approximately of six meter by five meters. So and the the yeah, this is a closer view of the uh, the urn exposed above the uh, surface. Uh, the diameter of the urn exposed above the uh, surface is about 40 centimeter. In the case of all uh, seven urns, it is more or less 40 centimeter. So I don't think it is the rim portion of the urn. It looks like about 20 to you know, you know, 30 percent of top portion of the urns were lost, but the rest appears to be uh, intact in the soil. And then let me move to the last site, Payani Thota. As I mentioned earlier, this site was already reported by Dr. Rajendra when he was excavating uh, Oliani uh, uh, in 2005. So, uh, but no details uh, was available about the site. And uh, the one person, one, uh, one Mr. Joseph Punnikar, who, uh, 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 who is from that region only, who accompanied and who participated in the Oliani excavation with Dr. Rajendra, uh, helped me to locate this site again. So now it is in a disturbed uh, uh, in a condition. It was reported as a uh, intact structure in 2005. Again, it is also inside the plantation. Uh, 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 Rajadhan, uh, you know, in his report, uh, mentioned that two uh, sister burials, but now, uh, you know, both uh, sisters are in a disturbed uh, condition. The sister is in a east west oriented. Now, uh, yeah, <clears throat> moving to the next slide based on the geo coordinates available, uh, the location map of the megalithic. Uh, uh, sites of the region uh, is uh, prepared and then uh, here you can see the the details of each site found so far uh, from this region and the first site in fact uh, the group of uh, number of sites uh, it was in 1963 that Chandra Shehra uh, reported these sites and later by several scholars like Rajendran and then Nambirajan and Sikumaran, they excavated three sites there in Nilur, Nikhil Das and Joglekar and reported several sites and finally Parapalli, uh, Kodakachira, Maringatapalli and Kaligawa are the recent, uh, 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 you know, list to the megalithi sites in this region. Now, uh, apart from Megalithic, uh, megalithic, megalithic, a polished, um, you know, stone axe was discovered by the sand miners from the river Manichil in 2004. One Mr. Jinu from Padua region uh, of the river Manichil, from where this tool was discovered, uh, Jinu was a student of the college. He handed over it to the college. And now it is in archaeological, it, it is exhibited in the Archaeological Museum of uh, uh, our college. So the tool has a uh, straight cutting edge and it, uh, its polar end is rounded in form. Uh, it's made out of, made out of dollarite. Now, uh, several iron slags were also reported from uh, several sites um, in the catchment area of the river, uh, uh, especially one site is Thodanan. And then let me move to the discussion and conclusion. The, the typology of the reported and excavated megalithic sites in, in the river basin are mainly 
stone circle, dolmen, dolmenoid cyst, including cyst, and urn burials. Granite and uh, gneiss slabs are predominantly used for the construction of megaliths. The menhir found at Tirunakara is made of laterite. It is a fact that, uh, that uh, the plantation across the study region have severely affected uh, you know, uh, uh, the preservation of megalithic. That is a big challenge for archaeological investigation. Besides, <clears throat> the presence of polished Neolithic stone axe has extended uh, the, 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 the scope of research you know, uh, even further back, to, uh, back, further back from Iron Age megalithic to, uh, uh, you know, even Neolithic. Now, you know from the presentation that it is a kind of uh, preliminary investigation and uh, I'm really looking for some, you know, uh, sites which uh, are, you know, undisturbed and uh, uh, possibility which, uh, you know, will give Go for uh, you know, excavation and detailed analysis. So uh, I would like to you know conclude my presentation by saying that this region is very potential um, uh, you know for uh, as far as the megalithic are concerned. Uh, you know further archaeological investigation you know uh, will hopefully provide more data and uh, much more clear information to discuss. Uh, thank you.